from all things at once without thinking twice. And I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told, they never seem to lead my mind. This road that I am on, I gotta stay here for some time. Time has gone and I grew up. I somehow made it through without losing sight mm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out from the dark mm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Hello guys and happy Friday it has been so long since I've sat down to chit chat with you guys, so this video is going to be filled with it. As you can clearly see, we are getting super ready for baby to be here. When I'm sitting down to actually edit this video, the baby is supposed to be here in four days. So <laughs> we rest assured got this nursery done, um, fully done at least a week before <laughs> baby's arrival. But you guys, I felt like I was so last minute with this pregnancy, just getting things ready and... I have just not felt like myself. I've just not been, I've not had any energy. I've not had the um, strength to do it a whole lot at one time. And so this is just taking me such a long time. So I am so glad to be able to share these videos with you guys. Um, there is, this is a three part video. So this, is, so this is the first video of three. This one is a prep with me. So we're just gonna be putting some furniture together um, and getting the room ready to um, kind of decorate and organize and the next video is going to be a nursery organization video and then the third one's going to be a decorate with me and a nursery tour so I'm really super excited everything has been filmed at this point I just need to sit down and actually edit it so I am working on these videos as I sit down on the couch and bounce on my exercise ball but um, yeah that's pretty much how things are going these days so I hope that you guys are all doing well um I have an inducement date, so I should be having the baby a week early. So that's kind of things how things are going on at my end. Um, I am super out of breath, as you can probably tell, and I'm literally just sitting here on the couch doing this voiceover. So anyway, I'm going to hop off here for now let you just hear some music for a little while, but we'll keep chatting as the video goes on. Mm, this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time Let's just like stop for a second and talk about how awful I look in this video. I saw how horrible I looked when I was editing this video and I feel like it would just be a poor testimony for all women if I just didn't post it because of how dreadful I look but I just look so uncomfortable and so big and honestly my self-esteem making this <laughs> making this video for you guys is not high let me just tell you that but I am so glad that I got it on camera. My sweet little three-year-old helping me paint the nursery. He was just so sweet and wanting to help and I absolutely could not say no and I, I'm so glad I caught that on camera and had those memories to share um, with my kids a little bit later on. Okay, welcome to the nursery everybody. <laughs> this is a hot blessed mess in here. So as you can see, there's just boxes of furniture, like stuff from the baby shower, diapers, everything's just in mad chaos. 
We've never used this room for anything. We built this house in 2021. And so, yeah, we've basically just used this as storage um, for either baby number two or Milo's old stuff. So I'm going to move this whole thing out of the way. Show you what the closet looks like before we get it all kind of cleaned up here. So we've got <laughs> lots of stuff. I have a lot of pink hangers. I know what y'all are thinking like, oh, it's a girl. I don't know if it's a girl. I don't know if it's a boy. Um, a family friend had a bunch of pink hangers and she was like, do you want these? And I was like, well, if it's a girl, then they'll be really useful. So we went ahead and took them. But yeah, nothing in here is like, nothing in here is organized at all, clearly. So yeah, that is pretty much the space that we're working with. Um, and right now I'm going to go ahead and get everything out of this room that doesn't belong. So, when, I'm not going to film that part because I just feel like that's just going to be such a long process. So later on when we start putting furniture together, that'll be for this video so you guys can see everything kind of coming together and where it's going to go and everything. And then tomorrow I'm going to come in and actually decorate and clean clothes and hang them up and organize all like the dresser and stuff, and which the dresser's not even in here yet. So, yeah. Wish me luck. I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning now. So the next time you see this room, this will all hopefully be somewhat cleared out. Okay, so this is about an hour later. I have cleaned out a lot of stuff. There's a ton of stuff here in the hallway um, and all the way down. But um, we are going to be putting the crib together. We have a little table we're going to put together. We're going to be bringing in a dresser, putting the chair and the crib where they're supposed to go. We've got some bookshelves on the floor that need to be hung up. The curtains need to be hung. So there's just like a lot of stuff that needs to be done to get the room actually put together. Um, the closet is an absolute mess. We're not even going to touch that today. I did, however, get everything out of there that didn't need to be in there. Um, all the bath stuff we got from the baby shower and stuff, I went ahead and put that in the bathroom already. Um, so yeah, and I think we're going to try this little um, four moms, mom Roo. Um, swinger, rocker, thing, bouncer. Um, I think we're going to try it up here in the nursery just because I think it would work more realistically like while I'm getting ready for work and stuff um, rather than take it downstairs. But if we need to later, we'll obviously just do it later. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're going with this um, project right now. It's just kind of... <laughs> Sorry, Milo's up here with me. Um just to kind of get all the furniture put together. So that's what we're gonna try to do right now. Come seek me out. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope
the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. And I wanted to say a quick thank you to my husband and my dad and my father-in-law for just so much help in this room, putting a fan up, putting the wallpaper up, um, hanging things and drilling holes and just doing all of the nitty gritty hard work, the things that I can't do, things that I can't reach. So I'm just, I'm so grateful for the three of them. Now that we're getting to the wallpaper part, I have got to tell you guys, this was the worst project that I have ever done or been a part of or asked anyone to do for me. And I felt so horrible at the end of it for having asked somebody to give up their day to do this with me. It was atrocious. I usually will put links in the description box for you guys to get the products I use if I love them. I hated this wallpaper. I would never recommend it to absolutely anybody. Um, it was absolutely dreadful to work with. So I did not film all of this because after the first roll, um, we had to get a second roll and it was just terrible. The squares didn't line up. They weren't the same measurements. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, it was, I can't even describe to you how awful this project was. It took over six hours to do this little stretch of wall with peel and stick wallpaper. And I felt so bad for my dad, who's the one in this video helping me right now. He was so frustrated with this project, and I'm just really grateful. I could not have done this without him, um, and all of his, he is so much, he has the patience of a saint. Like, I can't even describe it to you. So, anyway, if you loved how the wall turned out, let me know, and let me know how you think everything's going to turn out. I think, in the end, it turned out so beautiful, and I'm just so happy with it. That is it for today's video, so I hope that you guys liked it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and come back because in just a couple days, I'm going to have part two of this video coming out to you guys. All right, bye guys.